a son, I don't want them to be like, oh, mom dated this one, he dated that one, this one, this one, right, right, right. I can't do that. I can't afford that. How many mothers are thinking about their dating choices through the perspective of the impact it will have on the child? Like Taraji P is thinking about. Or through the eyes of protecting the image of the child 10 years from now, 5 years from now, 2 months from now. Do you want your son or your daughter to be picked on or bullied because his mom is well known, if you know what I mean? Very few mothers these days put the, their children at the forefront of their dating decisions. We've seen mothers bring their one night stand into the house where the child is. We've seen mothers call into a dating show with their 10 year old son responsible for approving sex in a relationship. Isn't this child abuse? There are crazy things mothers do these days and call me old school, call me old fashioned or whatever. But this is child abuse. What business does a child have on a dating show, let alone a child saying his mom's boyfriend must be rich or have money or he is going to be the one approving when sex will happen. This is madness. This is not a judgment zone. We're not judging anybody here, but this is a zone where we call things for what it is. This is a zone of the bigger picture. This is a zone where we're focusing on the well-being of the child. It's no longer about you when you have a baby. So I applaud Tara GP for putting her child into consideration and I urge mothers to do the same as well. Because finally when I meet the one, he's going to be like, well, you a hoe. You been with this one? This one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. Let me go look it up. Here it is. You kissing him at this yeah, restaurant. Yeah, yeah. This, like, there I, you I go. can't do that. Did you catch what she said? I'm not sure if you caught that. She said, finally, when I meet the one, she moved the conversation on to the man she wants to end up with. She was speaking as a man saying, you've been with this one, this one, this one. She was speaking as if that was the man talking. Now, she's talking about body count. Yes, through the eyes of a man and not the eyes of herself, the woman. Body count matters to men. And for men, a woman's body count is not the same as a man's body count, even if the numbers are the same. That is the way the men see it. Your job as a woman if you're wanting to get into a relationship with a man or if you're one of the older ladies who advise younger women tell them the perspective that matters and that's the perspective of men the people that they are trying to have go into a lifetime commitment with not their female friends perspective so that's smart. if you're not serious don't even open your mouth shake my hand and keep it moving another thing she said that is very important is to go into a relationship with intention don't date just to have a good time. That good time will come collecting down the line. And young ladies, many older women have messed up their lives. Majority of them are single and they will do anything to ensure that you end up just like them or even worse. You hear things from older women saying, at 30, you're still a baby. You should go out and live your best life. Also known as slip around, gain sexual experience with different men and devalue yourself as a woman. Stay away from such women, including those in your family. If you're not doing your due diligence of vetting who you're getting into a relationship and by vetting, what I mean by that is check with the men in your family, your dad, your uncle, your brother, get their opinion on the men you want to enter a relationship with. Back home in Nigeria, which is where I'm originally from, my tribe, in where a marriage occurs, after people, after the, the groom's people have stated their intention about wanting to marry somebody from the family, the bride's family appoints several people from their family and they are sent to go and check and ask about the groom's family. They find out what the reputation the family has in their village or in the city where they live. They check family members, mom, dad, sister, and sometimes they even go as far as checking in into the background of the mother-in-law, right? I know this is not a tradition of everyone, but I recommend you involve others in the vetting process because they are checking things that you are most likely blindsided to. Being a mom is not an easy job. It's a serious job. It's a lifetime job. And when you're a single mother, it is tough. It is real tough. But as tough as it is for you, it is also tough for the child as well. Especially, especially if you're going into another relationship, which is not his father or her father. Think about the child and make him or her proud.